setting up gain for individual inputs for your live sound is the foundation of having a great mix. In setting up your gain, the goal is to make sure that the mixer has an adequate amount of signal coming from the source before it can process it effectively. It's referred to as the nominal level of the mixer. The point of the gain is where your preamp is activated. The preamp responds differently to the type of inputs plugged into the mixer. In other words, the rate at which a mic signal is boosted is different from that of an instrument signal and that is also different from that of a line input. So ensure you plug the right source to the right input. I'll be doing a video soon on the differences between these inputs. When you engage the gain knob, the effect that the preamp has on a line input signal is going to be stronger than that it has on a mic level signal. How do you set your gain appropriately? If your mixer has a PFL button, that is a preferred listen button, engage it for the channel you want to set the gain. Then slightly adjust the gain knob until the meter is hitting averagely the 0 dB mark or the yellow region. In this case, I do not have a PFL meter reading, so I make use of my stereo heart meter indicator. If you want to get an accurate reading from this, you have to pull down every other feather except for the channel that you want to set the gain. I'll set the feather for the channel at 0 dB and set my master feather to 0 as well. Then I'll adjust the gain knob until the meter is reading 0 dB or the yellow region. Always avoid eating the red zone, both for the gain indicator and the meter indicator. That's cut clipping. It makes the voice sound distorted and that will sound good to the ears. So this is how I approach gain staging for my live sound setup in church. In an ideal situation, usually you ought to set this gain with the worship team prior to the commencement of the service. Trying to set it while they are ministering will disrupt your mix in the process. However, this is not to say that once you have set it prior to the service, you cannot tweak it again. You will still need to make minor adjustments in between the service, especially when the source of gets louder or a different person entirely handles the microphone. However, while setting the gain, ensure they sing just the same way they would when ministering. This will give you an accurate setup else the whole process is a waste. Please know that your gain knob is not a volume knob, it's a power knob for amplifying the source, so apply it as needed to individual sources so as to get a clean signal into your mix. The idea is to make sure it's not too low such that it's close to the noise level and as well it's not too loud such that it's clipping. Thank you for staying to the end of this video, if you got value out of this video, encourage me by clicking the like button and subscribe to this channel. Our mission here is to train media volunteers in churches to become well equipped for an adequate service to God via the media, so if you want to go and is joining with us please consider subscribing now so i see you next time god bless you